had the most laps today, which right now would put him in line for a couple of bonus points, and here's the reason we're under caution. Just in the pack, and he tried to drive to the bottom. It was a whole lot like what we saw John Hunter. Looks like trying to turn the truck down, and they just get loose when you do that, especially on the flat of the front straightaway or into the trioval, and then hard impact into the safer barrier. That safer barrier uh, that he hit has now been expanded by some 8,000 feet around this racetrack. All down the back straightaway, Kevin, there's safer barrier there. Really thank the track and NASCAR for all they do for safety. Yeah, it's been a big priority over the over the last little bit as, as we look at the safer barrier there uh, at these super speedways especially. Really, Brandon Jones, the top five, and, well, big problems for one of the drivers who spent a lot of time up front exiting the pit lane, John West Townley. Some contact with Johnny Sauter there. There was enough damage. Blaine leading the charge. On board with Matt Crafton. 91 into the wall. That's Stanton Barrett. Caution again. Yeah, Matt Crafton was involved in that crash, guys. Our point contender Crafton was a part of that. Crafton was going to lay back no more. Getting very aggressive in that outside lane. Stanton Barrett scored in the 20th position. What happened? Oh, Barrett just trying to change lanes, and it was Crafton who was a victim of that bad decision. Just so you know, that wasn't the spotter's fault. Sometimes when you're in these trucks, you got to make decisions on your own to change lanes. Barrett thought he was clear. Obviously, he wasn't. Well, he saw a good truck coming, and he wanted to be in front of the place. 54, really? post it, right. pass through, penalty pushing, and here's the big one. Down the back straightaway at Talladega. Back Crafton in it. And he just knew it had to happen at some point. It was just too tight. There was too much pushing and shoving, and finally it all just broke loose. So NASCAR felt Christopher Bell too aggressive in pushing at the front of the field when he was tucked in right behind Brandon Jones. You know what the shame of that is, though? They went by Brian Keselowski by pushing like that. Brian lost his chance to win the race. NASCAR didn't think that that was, uh, that was too much pushing, so they black flag Bell. Back grab to stay, just unraveled in the last 20 laps with with everything has happened or he wasn't all that or it looked like that the johnny sauter truck i think was in the middle and someone didn't know he was there yeah it was a 51 truck mike it looked like he was in on the top three wide there and started to come down over the cross of uh or over the front of johnny sauter's nose and that's really what triggered the whole accident yeah that 51 of matt tipped got turned around riding backwards saw damage for tyler tanner in the 63 another look here see there was sauter right on the tailgate of the 51 and then look crafton just almost squeaked by the outside but couldn't quite make it 94 of timmy hill in that mix we on board with tyler reddick what did he see this should give us a great view you can see Sauter very aggressively up the middle there just wasn't room no. on board with matt crafton He just missed getting through there. Uh, and I, I like what Crafton did. He just left the hammer down. He knew if he was going to make it through, that was his only chance. Yeah, the hole just closed up a little quicker than, than he needed to. Our fifth caution of the day has turned in to our first red flag, and that's why you saw the NASCAR official wave. The pack, it's hard to make any ground. 12 laps in, first caution of the afternoon, John Hunter Nemechek gets turned through the infield grass, able to save it as he came out of the trioval, would lose a lap, but since that time, he's been able to get the free pass. He scored in the 12th position. And this hood flapping right here, uh, Daniel Hemrick's crew made a, made a good decision to come in and fix it because it could have been a lot worse, but they came in, uh, you know, got a lap down and, and made, the, made the truck keep running. Daniel Hemrick also had some battery issues. He's now seven laps down. That's a hard hit for Terry Jones, but as we talked about, thank goodness for the safer barriers here at Talladega. Terry out of the race, obviously, scored in 31st. And a few drivers having some issues on pit road. Brian Keselowski, one of them. 
Yeah, he's recovered nicely from the things that they had happen on pit road right here and put four tires on and, and managed the race correctly. Same thing for John West Townley, who they didn't manage that situation very well, but they've come back and put themselves in position to at least have a chance. Yeah, both those drivers are going to be in line for a top five, maybe even a race win. And check this move out. We've got race leader Matt Crafton with a big push and a deal with the four truck of Eric Jones for those trucks to hang together. It got Crafton the lead, but then, unfortunately, Crafton picked up some debris onto his grill, causing his truck to overheat. He ran out of fuel just before making a scheduled green flag pit stop. That really hurt their opportunities, and after the green flag pit stops had cycled out, it was Brian Keselowski who put that 29 truck on point. What we thought could be the final restart of the afternoon, everybody getting aggressive and perhaps going over the line, penalized by NASCAR, Christopher Bell in that black and orange 54 in the outside lane. Yeah, they got connected right here, and really he didn't let off of him until they came back around about a lap and a half later. And that took the lead away from Brian Keselowski. Keselowski's team saying, why don't both trucks get penalized? They were locked together. Took us over 90 laps, but we finally got the big one. You see it so often in Talladega. Biggest victim here, that bright yellow 88 outside lane. Matt Crafton trying to sneak through. Couldn't do so. He's on pit road with heavy damage. This brought out our fifth caution of the afternoon. And since NASCAR has decided to put us under the red flag, we're going to go to overtime. One attempt. So much quicker than the inside. And now Peter goes on, Peters goes on defense. Oh, problems. Gallagher out of shape. John West Townley. Peter stays out front. No caution yet. Those trucks are well out of harm's way. NASCAR has decided to let these boys... Caution is out.